Hey, what's going on guys and girls of Yosh Recruits? My name is Van Gilf and this is my first ever commentary on this channel. Um, I haven't been involved in any channels like this before, so it, I'm like honoured to be on here. I'm like, just going to say that to start with. I'm going to give a brief introduction on what my channel is. Um, it's a very varied channel. A lot of channels seem to have just one type of game on them, like FIFA or Call of Duty. But on mine, I've got Call of Duty, Battlefield, FIFA, and I've got a playthrough every week. They've all got a specific day, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the playthrough on the Sunday. So if you want to have a look at them, then come over and check out, but I'm not going here to advertise, I'm here to talk about how to get better at FPS games. All first person shooter games, in my opinion, ha like, you can follow these three rules and basically you will get better at the game. Um, first off, what I would suggest anybody do, no matter how rich or poor you are, is go out and buy some sort of headset. It can be anything from as little as a Turtle Beach X11 up to the Astro A40s or A50s. Personally, I started out with the X11s and they were amazing for what I wanted. I had never used them before and I'd been playing through my normal rubbish TV speakers, which was, well, it didn't really help at all. As soon as you get those X11s on, you realise how brilliant they are. You can hear everything from everywhere in comparison to the TV. But as soon as you take the step up to Astros and you have the mix amp, oh my god, it is like heaven. You can just hear everything. I'm having eargasms all over the place. It's amazing. You can hear people from across the map, up the stairs, round the corner, in bed with your fucking uncle, shagging. Or something ridiculous like that. You can hear anything. Basically, that is what you need to do straight away. Get a good, decent headset. Whether it's the Turtle Beaches, Astros, or even Tritons. I haven't tried them out, but they are quite good. I know they are. Red reviews and all that jazz. Um, the second tip, and this is just for Call of Duty, but it's a pretty helpful tip, is to haul the hell out of SITREP. Everybody complains about it, but what are you going to do about it? If it helps you play the game better and improves your game, get it. SITREP Pro, if you don't know what it is, it makes your footsteps, well, your enemy footsteps louder, and I think now it makes your teammates' footsteps even quieter, so basically... God mode. <laughs> you can just hear everyone everywhere. It makes it so much easier. So that's the second tip out of the way. Um, the third tip, third and final tip, I should add, is um, changing your playing style from full-out attack, if you are a full-out attack person, or a full-on conservative, if you are a full-on conservative person. You need to find some sort of middle ground. You need to work out what your opponents are going to do before they do it. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm asking you as if you can answer to me. But no. Basically... In this game, I have rushed the majority of the game and I've chosen when to slow down at certain bits, so like then. I was rushing, but I could see on the map that he was coming up to me. So I stopped and stayed at a part of the map where I had a little bit of cover. Now that is what you want to do for the majority of every single game. You want to get yourself to the advantage points during any gunfight. Um, earlier when I was stunned on the corner of the map, I realised I was stunned, so I tried hiding behind... Um, the brick wall that was there, that makes it, that makes me at an advantage from the other person because I've got cover. He had cover as well, but that was just that one time it was a one-off. Or, alternatively, you can just get some juggernaut armor like this and, you know, you can just run in blind, basically. But, yeah, you want to find the point of advantage and you want to stick to that advantage, no matter where it is. Like, right now, these guys, if I was, on, if I was them, I would be running away. I wouldn't even try and take on a juggernaut because that is going to get you more deaths. You want to concentrate on dying less, and that's it. It doesn't matter about concentrating on getting kills, because if you die less and let the kills come to you naturally, then you will get a better score overall. Because if you rush and get more kills, you will get more deaths, I guarantee it. Unless you are some sort of genius that can know everything all the time and just beat everyone at everything. So there are my top three tips. I haven't spoke about this game much, I'm going to now, I'm going to give you a brief roundup of it, even though you've already watched it. It's an MP7, I just run around killing everybody, as you do, and I'm going to finish this off by thanking Yaush and Yaush recruits for letting me get involved in this. I know that it's not like um, the actual biggest channel, but it's still brilliant nevertheless. And I think anybody who's watching this but not thinking about getting into it and does make videos should definitely get into it. You need to start doing stuff like this because it does help your channel grow. So once again, thank you all. My name is Van Gilf. There'll be a link to my channel in the description. And um, see you later, guys.